so hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel so this is the third part of the series that frequently asked question in the interviews related to selenium so let's get started with the series so the first question is what is automation testing so it's simply automating the manual process so we have some test cases that we have to execute manually over the time again and again so those test cases we can automate and we can save time so that's why automation testing comes into the picture so we have different testing tools which let you create the different test scripts and you can use all the tools according to your own situation you can select the tool so let's move to the second question so the second question is how can we get a text of a web element so we have a method get text in selenium you just have to find the element by id or whatever locator you want to use and then you have to have you have you have one method that is get text that is going to return a string that you can save in a string and that is the method you can use to get a text of web element so let's move to the third question so the third question is how to select value in a drop down so in selenium we have select class using that you can select a value in drop down so you can clearly see here that we are creating an object of select class in which we are passing argument as an web element and then we have different methods select by value select by visual text select by index so these are different methods that you can use to select the value in the drop down so let's move to the next question so the question is how to switch to frame in selenium web driver so first of all you have to identify the frame then we have driver dot switch to and then whatever uh, the locator you are you are using to locate the frame you can put it here and uh, you can locate the frame by index as well you can locate the frame by the name of the frame as well so you can locate the frame by the tag name as well so there are different methods you can uh, switch to the frames so you switch the frame you perform some actions and you can get back to the default content default page so that's how you switch to the frame in selenium web driver so the question is how to refresh a web page in selenium web driver so this question sometime has been asked in the interviews so we usually ignore these type of simple questions so the first method is driver dot navigate dot refresh and the second method is driver dot get and driver dot get current URL. It is going to get the current URL and then you can navigate to that URL and it is going to refresh the page. So these are the two methods you can use to refresh a web page in Selenium Web Driver. So the question is, what is test engine Selenium? So you have heard about test engine JUnit. So these two both things, what these are is these are testing frameworks. So whenever someone asks you what is test engine or what is JUnit? simply have to say that this is a testing framework widely used in selenium which is used to manage and run the test cases in more efficient and organized manner and you can use test ng like grouping and parallel testing and reporting there are many more things you can do with test ng so that is what test ng is okay so let's move to the next question so the question is what is the difference between get window handles and get window handle so get window handles is used to address all the open windows of any browser and it is going to return you a set of a string and whereas get window handle is going to return you only current opened window or current browser so it is going to return you as a string only so get window handle handles is method is going to return set whereas get window handle is going to return you string data type so this is a difference between get window handle and get window handles so let's move to the next question so the question is how do you handle alerts in selenium so first of all what is alert so alert is a pop up window that are displayed on the web page so in selenium you can handle alerts using alert interface so whenever you are you, you are going to use alert interface it is going to have some methods accept dismiss and get text so accept is going to accept the alert dismiss is going to dismiss the alert and get text is going to 
get a text of alert. So that's how you handle alert in Selenium. So the question is, what are the different types of weights available in Selenium WebDriver? So we have two types of weight, implicit weight and explicit weight. And in implicit weight, you have methods driver.manage.timeouts and in explicit weight, you have WebDriver weight and fluent weight. So guys, if you really want to del delve deep into this weights, so I have specifically made video, elaborated video on the weights in Selenium WebDriver. So you can watch that video on my channel. You have to search it, different types of weight in Selenium at my channel. So you will get this video in which I have properly elaborated how each weight works. So the next question is, so the last question is, what are the different types of framework that we use in automation? So these are the types of the framework, BDD framework, hybrid testing framework, keyword driven, driven testing framework, data driven testing framework, library architect testing framework, module based testing framework. So these are the different types of frameworks. So we mostly use data driven, keyword driven, BDD sometimes and hybrid. So these four are majorly used. So these are the types of different framework. So this was the third part of the series. So I hope you like this series. Please comment in the video if you like this series. Thank you.